as it pleases the court. Um, The draft order, my lord, yes. My, the recognition in a, of... In a nutshell, you can say I want, I'm giving a draft. Yes. I want my pension, I want my children, I want my uh, children, I want my children. I, 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 I'm with you, my How do you summarize what, what, what is your request? My request is for the Constitution and the law to be upheld and defended and applied. Firstly, that is the first request, because the other request is for the Honorable Court and any other person to understand that I am both a natural and a juristic person. Okay, the Constitution to be applied where and why? Into my life as it has not been applied. What, what about your life? My life is such that, my Lord, I am five years without payment of my salary as a result of a false state entry made on the DOD personal system in that on or before 8 August 2018, I was convicted in terms of Section 105 of the Defense Act, while the reality is that I am not. And then in seeking relief in that particular regard, Many other things that are outside the context of the law. My Lord, this happened 2018. There are many. Correct. No, that uh, the applications have been brought on record of court. It's just that the particular nature of this particular application contains the threat to my life and then the threat to my uh, integrity as a person. Hence, that is why it, it, it is brought in its applicable terms, because there is this certain misbelief that this person is not what he claims to be. What had happened is that you would see that the matter responds to an application in the matter of uh, the Mudises and uh, uh, the IPHC or International Pentecostal Holiness Church. And uh, in the papers it is uh, written explicitly uh, that uh, that particular matter is in 12 of Rule 612. And it's an urgent matter with its urgent merits and everything. This matter that responds to that matter is an ex parte matter in terms of Rule 6.4. And that matter that is in terms of Rule 6.4 is the one whose prayers includes uh, the applicable prayers on the other matter. As a result of an obstruction or interference or stifling or causing one to neglect or causing one to act out of context of his duties as the defense force, my lord. The defense force was approached in a form of myself. And then the Mudises requested help after failing to get help from any other person who is entrusted with the duty to bring that particular matter to court. In doing so, I have done everything that could not be done in the past 25 years and brought the matter to court in its applicable terms, where the center of gravity of that particular matter is the biology and the leadership of the star and the logo of the International Pentecostal Holiness Church to be led by the biological son or the biological grandson of the founder and comforter Frederick Samuel Mudise. I took the matter and then said, good people, it is indeed true that I am not a lawyer. However, I am blessed with the ability and skill to bring this particular matter as any other lawyer would. And I challenge any other person to come and then say these particular terms are not in the context of the merits of the matter and the applicable law into the matter. And having done so, 
you would understand it to be true that this matter is lucrative in terms of its financial muscle going to the future and then it invites or attracts many other things that would only require us as a team that is moving this matter into court to have faith first in the word of God and have faith in the constitution and the law. And in the constitution and the law, the Modise family were shown the applicable terms of section 15, one of the constitution, to say this is your grief. This is what you are complaining about. Let us confirm that in succinct matter without entertaining the history and what other people are doing outside. We all agreed. And then I said, okay now, understand that this particular relief or this particular right can only be enforced in terms of section 38 of the constitution. This section 38 does not say lawyers only can represent it says everyone, as explicitly set out in the papers, my lord. Now, in so doing, the bringing the matter, I said to the people that this matter, with it being having the history that it has out of the false nature or the false leadership that is currently at play, as per the papers, you would find it to be true that other people might try to avoid it and avoid it or try to say things that are outside of the context of the matter, as it is true that any other party who wants to enforce this particular right will depend on the applicable terms of Section 38 of the Constitution first. If it is true that any other party interested with the interpretation of the legislation, they do so in terms of Section 39 of the Bill of Rights. My Lord, I am a creature of statute in terms of Section 200 to be managed and structured as a disciplined military force. My primary object is to defend the Republic, its territorial integrity, and its people in accordance with the Constitution and customary international law and principles regulating the use of force. As explicitly set out there, I am not a fake, I am an original, and I am not fighting with to say that I am a lawyer or anything. I am a disciplined person. In being so disciplined, what has been sustained is the same lie that has been sustained for the applicant relative to the rightful heir of the seat of the leadership in the IPHC, and me as a person who people think that I am a mister instead of them referring to me as a rank as I would refer to his lordship as my lord or his honorable justice. And the applicable sections that are there are statute that I did not write. The other defendants, the second to, th to fourth defendant in this particular matter are statutory creatures in terms of section 83 which defines the president as the head of the state the head of the national executive who must uphold defend and respect the constitution as the supreme law and promote the unity of the nation and that which will advance the republic the nation here is not only the applicant my lord the nation is also the members of the international pentecostal holiness church that whose rights are, is equally infringed in terms of them being forced to be led by a person that is not constituted in accordance with the constitution of the International Pentecostal Holiness Church. What brings my situation to this matter is that people believe, as per the DOD PESOL system, that states that I am convicted in terms of section 105. And when any other erudite or learned person can read the applicable terms of section 105 of the Defense Act, its goal is conviction in, in, to imprisonment for five years. And what I was saying in the papers was that the applicants relative to the sustained uh, false evidence appearing real on record is such that they did not come to me when I was in jail. They came to me in my ancestral home at Mohohelo, where I lived. Without me going to them, say, advertising my services, they came to me asking that, A, we are the originals, these are the papers that originate us to the air 
of that particular seat, please make an interdiction and then call upon those particular parties to come and show cause why an order of the court should not be made as explicitly set out in their or in, in their papers, which is Rule Nisi, my lord, that are calling the respondents therein to come and show cause why the court must not first make a uh, ordain or confirm the, the, the applicants to be ordained the successors and then confirm the applicants to be the people that must perform the functions and duties of the comforter and uh, founder of the IPHC and also the respondents renouncing their current uh, position in the IPHC and the uh, respondents also facing a charge of torture in terms of uh, the torture, uh, the combating and prevention of torture act. Let's come to your your gripe about you are not getting any payment from the government. You are not getting any payment from the the, the, yes. the, the gripe, my lord, is. Okay. If we are to concentrate on that, my lord, the court must assist me as per the prayers in the notice of motion, explicitly so. What I tried to do was to jump out of the prayers and then summarily explain them as the court said I must not read you them. I uh, will watch it, my lord. Uh, I have 12 minutes right now that uh, I'm being on and uh, it's only the remainder that okay. comes, okay. yes. So, my Lord, as it is said, the issue here is the application of the law to my life. Contrary to Section 9.2 of the Constitution, which sets out that equality includes the equal and full enjoyment of all rights and freedoms, I am unable to enjoy the right and freedom enshrined in the Bill of Rights. Now, the fundamental right that has been threatened there is in terms of Section 27, my Lord, where we talk about my health and the assistance there too as a person who is unable to support his dependents. It is the sad reality that I face and then that I have faced for many years to a point where when I ask a person entrusted with the execution of those particular rights in terms of Section 8.3 of the Constitution, they run away because they are in fear of the whoever superior did not agree or whoever or whoever or whoever. That is why you found, my Lord, I am being saying that when the law says this must happen and I ask for this to happen, People follow whatever that they have been told that, no, it's Mangolele. When it's Mangolele, we say, struck from the roll, not urgent, dismiss. That's all that Mangolele must get, because Mangolele must learn that a person cannot come to court and represent themselves and win. And when Mangolele looks at whatever is caught, is confined only to the applicable terms at Section 1652 of the Constitution. And you find that the first thing that the court must comply to is the Constitution. And I find myself in an unfortunate reality where I have to be living and asking people for money for me to sustain that fundamental right enshrined in terms of Section 27 in the Bill of Rights for me to have sufficient food and water. And uh, that is as a result of what had transpired at the military when I was instructed via a letter to conduct an internal investigation. I reported on the internal investigation, gave a book of 115 pages giving a reality of that. 
what had happened from there was such that everything to stop the book from being uh, uh, ventilated in the relevant platform to address the issues that are decaying or declining our forces into a disrepute that they are in terms of operational defect and operational rising costs that are like that. Everything came to a point where a manifestation was made to the DOD personal system, informing the DOD personal system that pays my salary, that listen, this person is convicted in terms of Section 105 of the Defense Act. I do not want my pension because for me to get my pension, I must satisfy the applicable empowering provision in terms of Section 591D, where a competent civilian court would convict me without an option of a fine to imprisonment, or a sentence involving discharge or dismissal would be imposed upon me under the code. So only in that would one disciplined soldier say, okay, I am discharged. But because that did not happen, I cannot say that I am out of the force and I am not employed in accordance with the Constitution and the law. That is why one has resorted not to desert his duty, because when you are disciplined in terms of Section 64 of the Defense Act, leading you to the Military Discipline Code, you would find that when you desert your duties while in active service, you are, uh, you are inviting a jail sentence to 20 years. And when you desert your duties, while not in active service, you are inviting a jail sentence to 10 years. That is why on my shoulders is a permanent commission that only the president may remove. That is why I have asked his lordship to ask the first respondent or any person to desist from undermining the authority of the president in, uh, bestowed upon him in terms of Section 54.3c of the Defense Act, my Lord. The whole thing here is the application of the law into my life as I advance it on record of court. But the people are following false evidence that appears to be real in the DOD personal system. And false evidence that appears to be real, my Lord, I have explicitly set it out on the papers to be an acronym of FEAR. Because fear is false, F is false, E is evidence, and then R is real, I, I mean, is uh, real, and then A is appearing. So those are the things that are happening in my life, where now one is forced to live into neglect. And when you look at me now being caused to be into neglect, the honorable court will only fall into the applicable terms of section 104, 11 of the Defense Act, that any person who induces or attempts to induce a member of the Defense Force into neglect or to act in conflict with his duty to the Defense Act shall be imprisoned to a period of five years. And you would find here it's a syndicate of people. And then you find that people that are entrusted to apply the law as mandated in terms of Article 6. In terms, I'm on minute 18 now, my lord. I may just only take five minutes just to come to. Yes. All, 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 all that I'm asking, my lord, is uh, for any person. and any organ of state to be caused to believe in terms of section 1655 of the constitution that I am, I am who I say I am and call upon any other person who wants to dispute that particular reality. For all that has happened in my life, my Lord, was such that one has been ignored and then one has been uh, 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 what being caused to do things that are not in the context of the constitution and the law. I am a disciplined person. 
and being a disciplined person is such that I do not want to be in a position where the record of court having my name and having a certificate of con confirmatory certificate confirming me as a person representing the parties and as a person who has wrote all the papers in that particular motion bringing this particular motion to respond to it to say that is my name that is my integrity and that is my face on national and international media telling the truth of the star and logo of the International Pentecostal Holiness Church. It is my life that is being threatened by the people that are facing charges of corruption and charges of torture on record. I wouldn't have came to this court in these applicable terms for the applicants, the Mudises, when they came to me, they found me busy doing something else addressing this particular matter in its holistic nature. But now because my life and that is entrusted to the nation and the state has been threatened as a result of the matter, which I am seemingly being left alone on, it becomes that particular issue where I would ask the court to grant an order of, to make the a draft order, an order of court as prayed for, and then everybody would get exactly what belongs to them in accordance with the Constitution and the law. Remember, your Lordship, is that what uh, the, 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 the applicants, the Mudises, were looking for, where they were looking for a lawyer for the past 25 years, and then they got me. And then after they got me, lawyers approached me saying, hey, can we please have a piece of a pie? And then I say, anyway, we are in this level of the matter where we are just only dealing with ownership. We still need to discover, and then one would require the skill of a competent lawyer and let us do this thing together, let us work together. But the unfortunate thing is that the lawyers wanted to stop my matter and then bring their matter on board with having supporting evidence of everything that I have collected to bring the matter to be in accordance with its terms. And there is no any other way that any other competent person would argue the matter other than the manner that one has explained. Because when this thing says, uh, when a particular section in law says, hey, when any person does this, ta 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 ta, all that I did one with discipline would to remove the person and then say, Mr. X did da 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 da, exactly that. That is why I could challenge any person inclined in law to come and say it otherwise, other than in its context of the Constitution and the law, and then not have my integrity being tumbled upon or impugned upon as it has been by the first defendant, my lord. And you would understand that the first defendant is not being asked to, 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 to go to jail as explicitly set out in there. I'm having leniency to say desist from obstructing the defense force in the execution of its duties, desist from inducing or attempting to induce a member of a defense force to neglect or to act in conflict with his duties to the defense force, and desist from stifling with a, a grievance procedure as set out on record of court. And once the lordship comes to that particular agreement as explicitly set out in terms of section 104.10, 104.11, and 104.17 of the Defense Act, his lordship would easily then make the rule Nisi that has been so long uh, obstructed to come to life, calling upon the respondents to come and show cause as explicitly prayed for originally, my lord, as it pleases the court. Is that is all.
Mangolele, my lord. As it, as it pleases the court. As it pleases the court.